Smuggler in the Blind, episode 7, I think, yeah. Ah, uh, so, last time, which was about three or so weeks ago, we needed to recover the stolen gear and the core samples for Beryl Thorn. Um, and I think it's kind of around here that we need to get it from. But where do we even get it from? Do we get it from these things, these enemies? I, I actually have no idea, and I can't stealth, so I'm going to have to kill everything I see. Um, where, where do I, I don't know, where do I find it? Because it's not actually, oh, over there, right, okay, um, ah, there's some over there as well. I'm going to try and sneak as best as I can, but I'm going to fail. Told you, oh my god, I've attracted so much attention. This is not good. There. Better? No. Level 16, and they're all dead as well. Which is great because these enemies are kind of like they were a little bit high. I saw some level 18s uh, around this area as well. Well, there's the first one, and we need three more. I believe there's one over there as well. Oh my God, there is! But you're in my way. See, level 18. But I'm gonna hide behind this box. Of course, so you can do whatever. Uh, we need two more soul and gear. I mean, there's one which that guy's kind of guarding. Is there one in there as well? There is. Ah, it's perfect. Ooh, that was a good one. Like that ability, that aim shot. Gotta use that more often. Come on, die now. How I can get the boxes. Thank you. Uh oh, oh. Game kinda of froze out a little bit. Uh this one. And finally this one. Are we done? Are we done now, Barrel Thorn? I retrieved the terrace course. Oh that was only the stolen gear. Oh god, we need I thought the course arms would be with the Bloody solemn. Ah, we need to go in there as well. We need to go into a facility, it would appear. Oh, God, I need to sneeze. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, is this the facility I need to go in? God, I really wish I had like a bloody. Bl bloody stealth thing. Uh, this is why I prefer my Sif and Quiz, sir, because she can smell. Smell? Yeah, she can smell and yeah, stealth. Feature. Could be both at the same time. So if this was real life, if those two guys saw me, they would be uh kind of shooting at me right now. But of course, cause that's cause like this, sorry, this area is their field of vision, they don't they don't attack me. Guess that's a good thing? God wow well, far have I gotta go. I gotta go this way. Oh, well at least it's a phased area. Kind of. That's kind of a good thing. Not amazingly, but kind of a good thing. I uh, wonder if I can just go this way around and avoid those two. Uh oh. I mean, at least I avoided those two. I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't check if there was any new abilities that I got. Um, Gunsling as well. Pulse Detonator. I don't really care about that ability. But I'm going to try it anyway. Well, I should care about that ability because that just, uh, well, that was a cool ability. Why are there enemies everywhere I turn? Literally cannot catch a break. Well, I'm gonna blow this up anyway, uh, so that way I can just sort of stun you guys for the second. Don't know why it's not doing any damage to you though, because uh, technically it's filling your lungs with poisonous gas, in theory. Well, gas that would do uh, damage later on in life, so technically you should be losing like one hit point at least. At least one. Are you still choking? Everybody stopped choking ages ago, but alright, if you wanna keep choking, that's fine. Uh, ah, this is what we need. We need you guys. What's going on here? Why'd you have to go and kill everybody? Some of those guys were all right. I'm here for the planetary core samples. Hand them over. Planetary core samples. Right. You work for Beryl Thorne, don't you? That's what I used to do. The name's Tyrodol. I was helping Beryl smuggle artifacts off Terrace disguised as core samples. I thought we'd get rich. Turns out Beryl's a soft touch. Instead of selling what we smuggle on the Imperial market, Beryl gives relics to descendants of Tara survivors for a tiny finder's fee. Ridiculous. There's an Imperial market on Terrace? No. But high ups in Imperial space pay big credits for Terrace artifacts. They're status symbols. I let Beryl think rat ghouls killed me and went into business with the scavengers. They had a bright idea to increase profits. Why sell a relic to the Imperials once we can sell it a dozen times? These droids are making copies of the relics. These droids can forge counterfeits? 
They can recreate a relic down to the last detail. The copies are flawless. Let's be smart about this. I'll give you a hefty payout and a cargo pod of counterfeit relics if you keep my operation quiet. You go home richer, Beryl gets some relics to give away, and I stay in business. What do you say? Well, it depends on one, two, or three, so I'm gonna choose uh, three and see what happens. I'd rather just kill you. Oh, okay. Droids! Code black! Alright, just gonna kill you. <laughs> Fine. I, I thought it was gonna be all like, oh, well, maybe, maybe, but yeah. Fine. How do that? I mean, I didn't care whichever decision it was, but. Didn't think you'll just be like, oh, you're just gonna die. Nice chatting with you, you're just gonna die. And you're dead. Okay, um, recover the core samples. Ah, thank you. Return to Ovold. Well, can I just quick travel there? Oh, well, I can. Hey, Ovold! <laughs> that sounds like, hey, Arnold, I've got your core samples. Hey, you got all the gear those scavengers stole. Turnabout's fair play, right? Got those core samples soon. They'll make Beryl a happy lady. You should go see her right away. Oh yeah, Beryl's a woman. I forgot about that. I thought Beryl was a man. Oh well. I know all about the smuggling operation, pal. Smuggling? That's illegal. I don't know anything about smuggling. I want hush money. Right now. For what? I haven't done anything. That cargo pod has caused up as a side before the scavengers stole it. The pod has something else in it now. It's got nothing to do with me. Pay up, or I go to Republic Customs. Hey, hold on. I don't need trouble with the law. They might confiscate my goggles, and that'll be painful. I'll give you a whole month's pay. Just leave me alone, alright? I'll go have a chat with Beryl now. Never should have got mixed up with you people. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to try and act out what they're saying now a little bit more. It's not great acting, but eh, I try to put a fun spin on it. Oh, and if you were to lose your goggles, Ovald, oh, that would be absolutely terrible now, wouldn't it? Oh, whatever can you do without your goggles? I mean, ugh, I hate those people that get so attached to a particular item. It's just, those people should just... Ugh. Just go rot in a ditch somewhere. They should just go rot in a ditch somewhere. I mean, it's not like I know anybody like that. Hey, I'm back and I got the core samples. Are you upstairs? You are upstairs. Ah, okay, I remember you now. It's been like two, three weeks and I completely forgot. Um, kind of the story. I remember somebody posted a comment on the Sith Inquisitor. Saying like, oh, I love how I hate Charlie forgets all the character names, even his own characters, but he remembers like, Manaeus from three years ago. I know, right? I can count the number of times I've been truly impressed in my life on one hand, Captain. Congratulations, you walking in with those core samples just got added to the list. I always deliver, sweetheart. Shame to see a man like you wasted on Risha. Argo, take this cargo pod and stow it with the others. When will we finally leave this accursed swamp? The humidity makes my joints rust. Hey, look at that. The Republic just updated my contract log as complete. And right on time, my spaceport friend granted me access to the Republic sensor array. Let's find us a vault. Tell me about this mysterious friend of yours. <laughs> What's the matter? Jealous? Well, a little bit. Sensors are picking up the vault's unique radiation signature. That's good. Aha, there it is. Oh, your vault is in Zone Zero. That's bad. Give me all the details. Zone Zero is in no man's land. When the Republic first got here, it sent a bunch of surveyors to map the region. One surveyor made it back alive. Said the place is overrun with things worse than rat ghouls. Nobody goes there. Except me. No man should march into certain death without a kiss for luck. Oh, well. I'll ask, but Argo's real picky about his men. Oh. I beg your pardon, mistress. Okay. You'll need serious hardware to crack that vault. Risha's good at getting into places she isn't supposed to. Maybe talk to her. It's been interesting knowing you, Captain. Have fun out there. Okay. Well, I'll take, um... Take that. Why not? So, um... Argo. How about that kiss? Argo. 
I'd like that kiss, please. Look at the terror in his eyes. He's like, oh, please go away. Please go away. Anyway, we need to talk to Risha now. Do Wait, does that mean I gotta go all the way back to my ship? I gotta go to my ship just to come back on the planet. Really? Fine, fine, whatever. Wait, what? Why? Why was this droid scanning a hologram of Governor Suresh? Y you do realize she's not actually there, right? Okay, yeah, you can scan me. Yeah, you scan me. But you do realize she wasn't actually there. I mean, I honestly thought that a droid was smart enough to realize what's actually there and what's not there. But pff, screw me, right? The most annoying part about having to go see Risha as well is that we're going to be leaving the planet. All I want to do is just go in my ship and speak to Risha. But no, we got to leave the planet first and then I get to speak to Risha. It's like one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen. Seriously. Oh, hey, Risha. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, I'll speak to you in a minute. So I, I, just, I, I just need to get the ship in the uh, in the space. Why? No idea myself, but we've got to do it first. Risha. Hope you got that vault's location. I eavesdropped on Skavik and some mercenaries over an encrypted comm channel. They're trying to beat us to the vault. Sounds like they're closing in. Tell me where to find Skavik so I can fry him. Don't get your hopes up. He's not on Terrace. Just his mercenaries. From what I overheard, Skavik's men aren't having much luck in their search for the vault. Something out there is eating those mercenaries alive. Literally. Predators might wipe out a problem for us. I wouldn't count on it. The mercenary leader sounds pretty tough. Get to the vault as fast as you can, then open the lock with this Geonosian slicer module. It took me months to trade for this. Don't lose it, understand? If I march all the way to Zone Zero and I'm still locked out of that vault, you're fired. <laughs> Technology has come a long way since that vault was built. It'll open. Good luck, partner. Hope I see you again soon. If I die, lock up before you leave. Not funny. <laughs> I I think it's funny. It's 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 very funny. I mean, do you want me to die or do you want me to live? No. Could you give me a kiss? Maybe. Maybe. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Harlow tries to flirt with everybody and it's just not going to work. The old man the old man look just just doesn't work, clearly. Clearly. Oh, for some reason we need to press space bar. Cut Remember scene. Me? Ah. Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. Yeah, what about her? Let me get back to you. Now, this won't take long. And it's not a request. I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics. And I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. I'll say whatever you want. For the right price. I only pay for leads that result in an arrest. Hard evidence. If you know something about Beryl, I'd love to hear it. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Beryl just looks dishonest, that's all. I have the same problem. Go on. Have a good laugh. While you still can. <laughs> Nobody escapes justice forever, Captain. Nobody. He told me to laugh, so I laughed. It's been grand, really. Let's go, men. Beryl needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. I don't want Beryl getting caught. Me neither. She's one of the good guys. We should drop by our place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Oh, so contradictory Harlow is. He's all like, oh, I'll rat out anybody for the right price. And then he's all like, I don't want her to get caught. Clearly! Clearly if you uh, would rat her out for the price, for the correct price. Yeah. Beryl, I'm back and they're trying to, uh, trying to arrest you. And they're uh, like one step behind. I would be careful. Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I kept them off your back. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. Friendship isn't all I had in mind for us. <laughs> I'll go start packing. I'd like some privacy. Oh. Anything to get off this make a forsaken planet, Mistress Beryl? I'll, uh... Just go count the rack ghouls. Alright. Sounds like fun. Been saving a bottle of Cassandra and Brandy for a special occasion. This seems like one. Come on. I bet he will. 
So I can keep straight face saying that. I wish we had more time, but I better get going. I want you to have this. Saved me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I didn't expect a reward, but thanks. It's not a reward, just something to remember me by. I'll get off Terrace while the getting's good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mr. Sparrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. Wow, some med packs. Thanks. I mean, when I have these med packs, I'll always remember Beryl Thorn. Yeah, okay. If I run out of med packs, do I have to forget about you then? If I, Once I've run out of these three med packs that you just gave me. Alright? Yeah, so I'll, I'll forget about you after then, yeah? Okay, bye. Right, hello, do you want to go first so that all the uh, rat girls attack you, please? That would be grand. No, where are you going? You're meant to be going first. Wait, what's... What are the... What? Oh, no, they attacked me! They're supposed to be attacking him! Damn it! Being in a cutscene, how dare you? I hope I've ruined your cutscene by fighting in it. I hope you're all like, oh, this cutscene is so not immersive with that guy fighting some rat girls in the background. Oh, go away! What, what are you doing? Bye then. I need to go this way. Bye bye. We need to split. Why are you following me? You don't even need to go this way. Why are you following me? Please go away. I mean, it's bad enough that you didn't help me, but now you've actually got to follow me. I mean, sure, there's probably something you need down here. And it's probably over there. But please stop following me. Wait, where is he actually going? Oh, uh, it's an actual... Oh, okay, so he actually needs to go that way anyway. Right. Okay, well... Stop following me. Oh, God, it's so far away. Bloody hell. I mean, we're nearly there, but I didn't think it was going to be this far. Oh, we're in this area now, are we? Okay. Well, at least the Rackles are dead. Who killed them? Would that be you? Can I use my... I can't mount here. Why not? It's in the outside area. <laughs> Why? I think you're alright. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. D stop evading. Because I need you guys... To, uh, I need you to kind of attack him so that I can... I can sort of... No, stop. No. Let me... Let me through. There we go. Whew. And I kind of needed them to attack him so that I can go through the phase. But he's got through too. Lovely. Roxur, you're blocking the vault. What the? Who the? How'd you? It's called, uh, just walking in here. Let me guess. You're Skavik's mercenaries. How do you? We're supposed to be. Never mind how you know. We've been through ten kinds of pain getting to this vault. And not to watch you open it first. Skavik, uh -huh. there? You want to see this, boss? We're at the vault, but we're not alone. <laughs> it's so perfect. I love it when everything comes together like this. How's life treating you, Captain? You enjoying my ship and all my stuff? My what ship! the two-faced Risha? You want answers, you cheap nerf herder? Come and get them yourself. I'd love to, but I'm stuck in orbit, and you'll be a grease stain by the time I get down there. Still owe you for that mess on Coruscant. You have any idea of the grief I'm taking? I could kill everybody who cracks a joke, but uh, that's a lot of work. So why don't you just die already? I like living. Stop taking yourself so seriously. A man's reputation is everything. If I don't take myself seriously, who will? Roxa, I want you and the boys to spare no effort killing my friend, and make it as painful as possible. You heard the boss. Fry this fool! But I don't taste good. And I don't think I want to be on a swordsman, thanks. Ooh, level 17. Ooh, okay. That looks like I get something uh, in my combat proficiencies as well. How exciting. I'm actually going to use a rope moment. Just want to speed things up. Oh. I'm kind of stunned at the minute. I want to use a remote to speed things along, because uh, I want to get this episode over and done with. Okay. Uh, now, what do we go with here? Um, while and cover, you heal 1% of your total health every three. While and cover? Well, yes, please. Yes, please, indeedy. That is, that is a great ability. Anyway, vault. And done. We're done. 
exciting. Um, now, do I quick travel? Uh, I'm thinking maybe going to. Yeah, let's go. Let's go like this. Why not? Ba -ba -na -na. On the plus side, I will already be at Narshada when speaking to Risha. Unless, of course, I've got to travel away from Narshada, then travel back for it to click. That damn explosion. Risha, I, I totally, totally didn't have sex with um with somebody else. I mean, you, you're you're the one that I love. Um, but every now and then, I may just have a little bit of fun. You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. What? Yes, my face is all happy and gleeful. You wouldn't believe how many things I had to kill. It's only terrorists. No one will miss them. That astrogation chart belonged to an exchange gangster named Davik Kang. Davik personally mapped dozens of hyperlanes between the core and outer rim systems. He found shortcuts and hideouts all over the galaxy. How does this chart help us find Noctrayan's riches? Patience. Good things come to those who trust their partners. Have you studied much galactic history, Captain? Interesting patterns emerge if you pay attention. Davit Kang's criminal empire ended when this planet was destroyed. Noctrayan's empire was born when he destroyed a planet. What a bloodthirsty creep. That's one way to look at it, assuming you're ignorant of the actual facts. Once upon a time, there was a pirate haven on the Outer Rim called Mandelia. Thousands of criminals lived there. One bright morning, Noctrayan's freighter dropped out of hyperspace over Mandelia. He demanded the pirates surrender to him or die. What did Nock want with the pirates? These pirates were successful pirates. They'd acquired a lot of wealth and Nock decided he wanted it. When the Crazy pirates sent their reply, Nock launched a single rocket at their settlement. The warhead was tipped with an Imperial nerve toxin. The entire settlement died in less than a minute. Where did Nock get an Imperial warhead? He stole it, of course. He'd been looking for a way to take down Mandelia in one shot, and that was the perfect solution. That day at Mandelia, Nock Drain went from being a low-rent smuggler to one of the richest criminals in the galaxy. Anyway, that's how the legend goes. I should probably let you get back to work. How about some more history lessons someplace private? He's invisible! Oh, incorrigible. Come see me when you're irresistible, and we'll talk. At any rate, I'm ready to leave Taris. I'm sure we can find someplace more interesting to be. I still have business here. Please don't take too long. The smell of Taris is getting into all my clothes. Okay. I mean... I thought I was pretty damn irresistible. But I guess... I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. I'm taking that! Because then I can take the crystal out. And I can uh, have a better weapon. Sort of. But I'll sort it out off screen. So next time... That damn explosion is really starting to annoy me. Next time, we are going to be travelling to Narshada. Apparently, I'm on to... Oh, okay. Hmm. I thought by going to Narshada and then your, sh your, your Narshada stronghold and then going to your ship will automatically take you to Narshada. But, but I guess not. So I still got to travel to Narshada. Proves what I know. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.